All right, this is a new water inspection, and this new water system has something different that most don't. This has two new waters that are running in parallel with each other, and then they connect in series with a set of tanks, septic tanks or trash tanks, and then also pump tanks for dosing a drain field. Uh, we are in low air alarm because I pulled out one of the, one of the uh, air stones for demonstrations, but... This is what we deal with. Got to take dose counters and how long the system's been running, uh, on time and off times. Uh, there's some manual switches there uh, so we can run some stuff there. Now, at this place, it's kind of like a lodge. And so we have to have a large on-site sewage system to take care of it. We have our initial trash tank. Most of you guys probably recognize just, you know, sl uh, scum and sludge in there, sludge on the floor. Second compartment. Now, since we can't put baffles in this, we had to actually put equalization tubes, or you see the speed levelers. Let's see if I get a closer look. Between two tanks, because we're trying to, trying to equally dose two new waters. Now, this is where we go from the series. Now, we split here and go to two new waters. Here's what would be considered the trash tank of the two new waters. We're from those, both those equalization tubes. Here's where we have the stone emitters causing the circulation and feeding the aerobic bacteria down in this tank. We have a dissolved oxygen of seven in this system. Now, I've disconnected this one to show you guys that, you know, we got to remember to clean the emitters. So these are just stone emitters. And if you don't clean them, they get all full of biological growth and gunk. And instead of getting uh, nice fine bubbles, we end up getting coarse bubbles. And then the, the plant starts stinking real bad. It starts getting sick. But that connects right there and goes down into there. Now these are some pretty special blowers. There's one for that plant and one for this one. At two in the morning, the system shuts down. So the blower shuts itself off and it allows all the solids that are floating around in this water to settle out. When that happens, then, well, for demonstrations, I'll go to the other one. This one's turned on, that one's off. So it'll turn off at two in the morning and let it settle out. Then the blower, once you clean the air filter, the blower then takes all the solids out of the floor through this little white tube and it brings it in over here. So that's where the solids are going, back into the trash tank and out of the ATU. And then at 3.30 in the morning, the blower kicks back into its traditional route and we feed the, the ATU. This also has reduced our nitrogen in our wastewater as well. So it's part of our nitrogen reduction as well. So as long as we don't allow more than 24 inches of sludge on the floor of that tank there, this tank will stay relatively clean. And then uh, our discharge is into a pump tank. And it's pretty low because, well, it's the pump is running everything. And our final result is the water being turned to the drain field is clear water. See if it'll grab that. There we go. So that's it. Now we don't have a disinfection unit in this. We don't have a salcor in this one or disinfector or chlorination or anything like that. So there could still be a pathogen in this water, but that is the water now being discharged into our drain field, which is all this here. And we've got inspection ports and stuff here. So that's what, that's what we look forward to on, on uh, taking care of a new water on a, on a lodge.